Good day, my friends, and welcome back once again to Brotherhood of the Bat Collectibles. My name's Chris, and I'm the Batman Statue Collector right here on YouTube. And today, I've got the Pure Arts life-size Batman cow replica, of course, from Batman 89, my favorite Batman. And this is a very, very cool piece. I want to thank everybody that uh, you know joined me for the live unboxing. And I can't wait to show you up some of the close-up details because this is very, very cool. What I originally saw in San Diego, I wasn't very impressed with because apparently it was polystone. Well, this is not, and it really shows off all the detail, the imperfections of the actual original cowl, which they apparently 3D scanned, which is absolutely incredible. And so without further ado, let's go ahead and check this out. But before we do, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Otherwise, let's get right to it. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and dive right in. And again, this is the Pure Arts Batman Cow, Batman 89. And, you know, there's not a lot of bells and whistles with this one, clearly. Um, but there is some really great detail to it. So I do want to share that with you guys. So obviously the first thing you have is the nameplate here, the uh, Certificate of Authenticity, one-to-one um, -one cow replica. And then as you can see, it also has the number here, um, which is great, out of 1989. And uh, it is a metal, I don't have the plastic off yet, uh, but uh, you can see that uh, it is a really nice uh, metal piece and it's got the plastic as well right there. And that just slides uh, right into there. So that's nice, I don't know if I would display it or not, but it is nice that it is available. Um, and then of course we have the cowl itself. Um, now, a lot of people brought this up uh, during the live unboxing that the great thing about this is, um, and a lot of people, including myself, feel it's a lot better than what I saw in San Diego. And I think that is because at that time, it was, in fact, a polystone. And this is not polystone. This is not even close to that. It is a flexible material. Um, you guys can see that, hopefully. Um, you know, it has a nice bend and flex to it. Um, and so I think that this is going to be something that is very long-lasting. Um, it has imperfections, it has texture, just exactly like the real suit. And hopefully, um, as I spin it, um, you'll be able to see some of that detail uh, that I'm talking about. Um, definite imperfections, has that real leather, that old leather look, um, which is really impressive. Um, one thing, I can't remember if I said this during the live unboxing or not, but I saw the actual cowl um, on display uh, years ago. I believe it was 2007, 2008, somewhere around there, maybe 2009. Um, they had the actual cow at Hollywood Studios at Disney. And this reminds me very much of that. Of course, theirs was all warped away um, from, you know, just the, the, the material disintegrating over time. But I think this looks absolutely awesome. I feel like it really captures uh, Michael Keaton, the look of Michael Keaton. You can just, you know, just really envision him in this suit. Um, which is great. Um, it also has the, uh, the name plate here. I'm going to take it off. Um, and so this is really nice. This is really heavy duty, um, as you can see. Um, and it does have a magnet as well um, that detaches. So um, it's just this little, little magnet piece, as you can see. And it goes right there, right on that magnet. Boom, nice, really strong. You can hear that. So this is one look that you can get right here. Um, which I actually really like this look too. Um, this is that, uh, you know, Tim Burton museum look from the film. And as we spin it, um, you can see the museum uh, pieces, which is great. I am going to show that to you here in just a moment as well. As you can see, as I move it, I mean, the mask kind of moves with it because it's literally just on a stick. It's, it, is a, it is a head on a stick, um, but it's much, much more, more than that. But I love the fact that you can put the emblem here on it and again, really strong magnet, and that, that just holds it in place. Um, you want to tilt the mask down so it's behind it, otherwise the mask kind of flows up. But I really like um, kind of that mask down. You can only, you know, especially if you have it up on a higher shelf like that, um, it's just going to look really great. But again, there's the logo. And again, let me just see if I can show you just some of the detail as it hits the light. Um, hopefully it'll uh, focus in on that. I know it's really close, but again, hopefully you guys can see uh, that level of detail right there and just all the all the imperfections I mean right there like it's just again this is a, this is a, an actual scan uh, from the 3d or a 3d scan from the actual um, prop so that's pretty awesome I love the fact that it's kind of got this bent curve to it like his back love that on the back and then um, 
I'm gonna take this off uh, just so you guys can see the other part of this here. Uh, so I'm gonna move this over just for a moment and I'm gonna take the, the cowl off uh, just like this here. Again, this is very heavy. It's very heavy, very well done. But again, I just wanted to show you that, that flexible um, ply to it. This is the interior. Uh, you cannot wear it, <laughs> but uh, it's very, very well done. And uh, I'll just set that off to the side for a second so you can check out the actual um, base itself. So this piece uh, comes off, this is metal, and it's got a plastic top. Um, I actually really just like this. <laughs> so I'm actually considering um, doing something with the cowl and leaving this separate because I love this. And maybe I wish they, they had done two, but this is definitely elements uh, from Batman Returns and also Batman 89. Um, as you can see, it's got some really nice bronze colors, um, also some weathering, as you can see. So it looks old, and again, it looks like it's straight out of the movie. Uh, kind of that hammered copper, hammered bronze. I'm not sure which is the correct term, but uh, it looks great to me. Uh, again, you have that 89 logo there on the front. And again, if you want to uh, put this in, you spin it, and again, it just fits just right down in there, uh, nice and snug. And then as you put the cowl back on, again, very heavy, and it literally just goes right over. And you can, you know, you can have it kind of positioned up high if you want. You can kind of bring it forward and have it, you know, kind of looking down. And again, if you want to add the, uh, the logo, that does help hold it in place, which is cool. I don't have it, I don't have it quite centered on here. There we go. Um, it's just very, very well done. I love it. Now, of course, some people, and me included at first, I didn't like that you could see it through, but I mean, it, it just adds a little visual interest. It is cool. Um, but yeah, I wish they had maybe included two of those because I would love to have one standing uh, right beside it. Um, but what a great presence. I know that there's been a lot of cowls over the years, um, and I've heard from other people that own cowls that basically say the same thing, that they've purchased this. Um, and yes, this is way more expensive. This is $800. Um, links are down below. It is almost sold out. So if that's something that you are interested in, you might wanna take advantage quickly. Um, but they've said that a lot of the cows are great. They're way cheaper, but this is the most expensive. However, it has the most detail um, with all of the, um, the that leather. Again, because it's a real scan. So. If you want authentic, if you want as close to authentic as you can get, to me, this is the one to get. I think it's awesome. Um, I'm really glad to have it as part of the collection because I really do feel like um, it represents Keaton. Um, oh, one other thing I want to show you that this, look at the curve of the, of the tip of the nose. Like it's exactly the same as the movie. It's really well done. So again, for me, top to bottom, I think this is an awesome purchase. I'm really glad I got it. Um, if you are a fan of 89 Batman, I mean, I, I can imagine pairing this up with the, uh, the prime one Keaton, um, which would be really cool. Um, and I have that one on pre-order. So anyway, I'm going to turn it over to you guys. What do you think about it? I think it's awesome. I highly recommend it. Uh, again, I'm really glad that they, uh, switched over from the polystone, which lacked detail. I think that's maybe why I didn't like it. It just didn't have any detail, had no wow factor. This does, because you could see the fact that it's, you know, it's flexible and it has those material elements to it. So anyway, that's how I feel about it. Uh, I love it. I'm really glad I got it. And uh, I would love to hear your thoughts down in the comments. So anyway, I bought this one from Sideshow. Um, I had reward points, which is great. And I also had a teacher discount, which is great. So if you are a military or ed in education, uh, first responders, uh, definitely check that out because you can get, uh, I think maybe up to 15% off or something like that. I'm not sure um, what it was, but anyway, it's a great deal if you are uh, in those, the, those job positions. And so definitely check that out. But uh, thank you, Sideshow, for the discount. <laughs> it's really great, right? Um, and you do, you do have to apply. You have to show proof uh, that you work for those fields and things like that. So uh, make sure you actually work for those uh, those places. So anyway, I love it. Uh, Pure Arts is awesome. I'm considering the Catwoman cowl, but it's it's also like 700 bucks. So it's a hard pill to swallow, but knowing that they're actually taking scans of these things from the actual props, it does make it uh, way cooler to me. So anyway, I love it. 
single and double thumbs up if I wasn't holding a phone. But uh, anyway, thank you guys so very much for checking it out, and I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, again, Pure Arts, one-to-one -one Batman cow replica, really good stuff. Thank you guys so very much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and as always, I'll see you in the Batcave. Bye, everybody. Hey guys, thank you so very much for watching today. And if you're new here, please hit the subscribe button right here on the screen and check out these two awesome videos. I think you're going to love them. And also please join us on social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. I would love to have you join in all the fun. Thank you guys so very much for watching. See you in the Batcave.